podcast by Florida Lake Youth. Welcome to our week of prayer. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the privilege of turning to your word at a time like this. And we pray that you would bless us wherever we are as we listen to this word from you. May it bring us comfort and hope to keep on carrying on. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Coronavirus is the buzzword. It has instilled fear and tension into everyone. People are concerned about our economic situation. Already our country is in a technical recession. The value of pension and provident funds is decreasing as I speak. People are panic buying. We seem to have lost our inhumanity in, in our need to survive. I want to share with you a few words of hope and encouragement from Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. What a solemn hymn of security to those who trust in God. What beautiful imagery is used to describe God's care for his people at a time like this. The psalm is basically divided into three sections. The first contains a description of the believer who trusts in God, who makes God his protector. The second tells us of of God's sheltering and his trust um, of of the person who who comes to him in the hour of difficulty. And the last tells us of God's response, God's response to our plea for protection. I I like the words portrayed by the psalmist when he tells us of God who is our protector. The psalmist uses words such as Um, He is our shelter, he is our shadow, he is our refuge, he is our fortress, he is our cover, he is our shield, he is our buckler. But I was very interested in the words hiding place, and I looked up the meaning for the words hiding place, and it literally reads, God is our lodge, he's our inn, he's the place where we can spend a night at. And that, that to me is the secret to calm assurance during this time of panic. That is the panacea for our plight. At a time like this, we need to find in God our lodging. We need to abide in Him. We need to make Him our quiet place and our hour of devotion. Have you found your quiet place? while the rest of the world is panicking. Have you found your place of prayer? And after you find your place of quiet meditation, after you have found your place of prayer, go and tell. Tell what your shield, your protector, our shadow, our refuge, our fortress, our cover, our buckler has done for us. Spread the good news during these days of negativity. Spread the positivity and tell of God's power to save and to redeem us. I exhort you, my young friends, trust him. Do not fear. Do not fear. Practice good health and stay safe. Let's pray. Father, 
We thank you that we need not fear this pandemic because the angel of the Lord encamps around those who put their trust in him. We thank you for the promise that thou wilt keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. And so we commit it to you and we ask for your continued protection. We ask for grace to flee to you as our refuge, as our fortress, and as our shelter. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining. Listen again tomorrow at 7 p.m. 